We move on to uh, Fran Rebrina, also from Croatia. Are you there, Fran? Ah. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Okay, hello. Uh, you can start sharing your presentation and... Uh... Right, in just a moment. We ha there's a question already from the audience. Are you in the same locality as Josip? Yes, I am. <laughs> in his office. <laughs> Ah, hi. <laughs> okay, you can start your presentation. Okay, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Fran and I work at uh, the Faculty of Science in Zagreb. Um, and together with uh, my colleagues, uh, I have been studying Orthopterans of Croatia for almost uh, 10 years now. And in this talk, I would like to give you an overview of the conservation status of uh, species inhabiting the country uh, and discuss some uh, issues that need to be addressed uh, on the way to creating the first red book of creation, grasshoppers and crickets. Uh, well, by geographically, Croatia can be divided into two main units, the continental and the Mediterranean one. And the continental unit can be further divided into Pannonian uh, region and the Daneric Alps region. Uh, Pannon Pannonian region mm, is uh, for the most part characterized by alluvial lowland uh, along uh, major rivers, but also in its uh, southwestern part it has a shallow karst plateau and uh, a more hilly area on the no in the north, and also there are some isolated mountains along the Pannonian plain. Uh, when it comes to the Neric Alps, they are characterized by mountainous karstic landscape uh, with peaks below uh, one, uh, 1800 meters above sea level, uh, which means there is no true alpine belt, but there are isolated subalpine habitats uh, close to the highest peaks, while the rest of the region is mostly characterized by a mountainous continental climate with some Mediterranean elements that uh, penetrate rather deep into the mainland in some areas. And finally, Mediterranean region uh, can be divided into uh, several subregions because uh, climatic conditions differ along the coast. Uh, and uh, there are also some isolated mountains here in Dalmatia, uh, which are not per se part of the Daneric chain. And also you can see here that islands are um, shown as a separate subregion because they have some of their own peculiarities and also their exploration level has been historically rather low. Um, as you can see, uh, there are a lot of uh, different um, climate types, a lo lot of different uh, uh, geographic elements uh, in, uh, in the very um, restricted uh, area. So, of course, this leads to high biodiversity. Uh, according to the present data, we have 187 orthodontian species in the country. Uh, rather recently, we published a checklist of creation orthoptera, which listed 184 species, which means that in the meantime, there was a finding of one native species, Mimicophilus fuscus, uh, on the Dalmatian coast, and also two introduced species were recorded, Eprepocnemis florans and Racocleis um, annulata, which were found in the gardening center also on the coast, and they were probably introduced with uh, imported plant material. So this means that we have 105 anciferan and 82 saliferan species in the country, and in this figure you can see the uh, distribution of the species uh, within uh, the subfamilies. But the true number is more, uh, most likely close to 200, because there are some already some taxonomic problems that we know of, that could increase the total number of species in the future. For example, the Silimon elegans group, which uh, apart from the nominal species also includes uh, at least two undescribed taxa uh, in the country. Uh, uh, there were uh, species inhabiting Croatia uh, were not assessed, uh, their conservation uh, status has not yet been assessed at the national level, but according to the data we have for uh, Europe and the European Union, uh, we can see that 27 species inhabiting the country are under or near the, near the threat of extinction, which uh, amounts to about 15% of creation of doctora. And as you can see from this figure, 9%, um, that is 17 species, uh, are found uh, within one of the threatened categories, and also two additional species are uh, listed as data deficient. 
two numbers are likely higher at the national level uh, and re-evaluation of the status uh, in Croatia for all 187 species is urgently needed. Uh, this is especially illustrated by this figure here, which shows that uh, as much as 25% of creation of Toptera, that is 47 species, are recorded at less than 10 localities, and about half of this number, 20, 24 species, are recorded at only one or two localities so far. Uh, nevertheless, only a single species, um, Sagapedo, is currently protected by national law, which definitely does not reflect the true situation in this insect group. In the following slides, I will show you some examples of potentially threatened species in Croatia uh, and uh, discuss some challenges that we face in each uh, of the uh, geographical regions. Uh, first, we have Grotalpa Steposa, which is known from a single so uh, locality so far, Valpova, near Drava River. Um, but this species should be uh, more widespread in the country and more findings are expected in, in the future. Uh, and it would be especially interesting to see uh, where is the distribution border of this species and uh, whether there is a contact zone with nominal Grotalpa Grotalpa. But the uh, much tougher problem is present uh, on the coast uh, because our Adriatic Grotalpa populations have their taxonomic status uh, still unresolved. They definitely belong to distinct species, so different from these uh, other two that inhabit the country. They could represent one of the Italian species, or maybe it is one of the species inhabiting southern, uh, currently known from the southern Balkans, but also it could be a distinct species that is endemic for, for this area. So a revision is definitely needed. Another curious case is uh, Tetris Ansalvanica hypsocarifa, which was described as a subspecies in 2014. And until recently, it was considered extinct in Croatia because it was described from two his specimens from the historical collection of uh, uh, National History Museum in Zagreb, and it was not confirmed uh, at the typical, uh, at the type locality. However, quite recently, in 2020-2021, um, the species was recorded at two new localities, uh, Istrahinjica Mountain and Ivanščica Mountain in hrvatsko Zagorje region, um, and it was found in moist leaf litter in continental beach forest, which is a habitat not frequently explored by orthopterists, so um, it, it is expected that it, it should be more widespread in the country, but it was simply uh, overlooked. Uh, in the Daneric region, um, we have the case of a Loptera frivalski, normally a widely distributed southeastern uh, bush cricket species in Europe, uh, which was discovered in Croatia only in 2013 on Poštak mountain, inhabiting human mountain meadows uh, above 1,000 meters uh, above sea level, and uh, this was considered to be the only population in Croatia uh, being on the southwestern distribution border of uh, this species. But very recently, um, uh, a specimen was photographed in Plitvička Ezera National Park, which shifts the distribution border of this species even more to the west. And um, now it remains a matter to be resolved is how isolated these populations are, because the closest known populations in Bosnia are about 40 kilometers away from these Croatian populations. So uh, our populations could be quite isolated and therefore under threat of extinction. Uh, another generic species, Metrioptera hermani, which was known uh, as uh, endemic for uh, the mountains of Bosnia, Herzegovina and Montenegro, was recently recorded in, in Vyakovo mountain in Dalmatia at a single locality. And uh, which is the first finding of this species within the borders of the European Union, uh, which means that it has to be reassessed at the EU 28 level. But it is not expected to have a wide distribution in Croatia since we don't have mountains with uh, high enough elevations to provide suitable habitats for these mountain species. And this population could also be rather isolated. Ramihipus dinaricus, another curious uh, orthopteran, uh, which is also. Um, endemic for the Neric mountains of Bosnia and Herzegovina and Croatia. Uh, it was uh, first, first time recorded in Croatia in, uh, on Dinara mountain in 2012. And since then it was uh, found in, on another three mountains uh, in Croatia. And especially large populations were encountered uh, since on Dinara mountain inhabiting rocky habitats above 1000 meters above sea level. Um, since these habitats include mostly steep slopes and so on, it was 
they are rather inaccessible and this species is, is to non-experts uh, quite easily confused with uh, nymphs of other Gomphocerin species so it was probably overlooked in the past. Two very interesting species are uh, in the Adriatic region are Barbatissus kaltenbach and Rakokreis bucici which are the only two uh, bush crickets endemic to Croatia. They were both described for, from Far Island and Barbatissus kaltenbachi has since been found also on this island uh, in Makis with grass, grass uh, patches and bare rock uh, uh, with uh, individuals usually resting on bushes and small trees of Quercus ilex. Uh, since the distribution is rather restricted and uh, even on the islands where it is present, the populations are rather localized, uh, we uh, recommended that its uh, conservation status at the European level is uh, upgraded from vulnerable to endangered, while Rakokleis bucici was found on several Adriatic islands and uh, on a few localities in Croatian mainland uh, in different types of shrubland habitats, which are rather inaccessible and the species is quite elusive and uh, shy. So it was probably quite often overlooked and its true distribution sh should be uh, much wider than we uh, are aware of. Uh, and uh, therefore, we recommended that its uh, conservation status is up, uh, was downgraded from endangered to vulnerable at the European level. Uh, a curious case is Paramogoplistus novaki, which was described from far, and for a long time uh, it was known only from this uh, type, type locality, uh, until fairly, fairly recently when it was uh, recorded on several localities on both islands and mainland. And uh, uh, it is probably due to the elusive uh, lifestyle of this species being nocturnal, being uh, living underneath rocks and in fissures, and uh, probably due to its activity uh, period being shifted towards autumn, as our data show, uh, it has probably quite often been overlooked and its true distribution should be much wider, especially since there were recent confirmed findings in the Western Mediterranean. Last, uh, last year, uh, the species was uh, published for the first time from the uh, Iberian Peninsula, so it could be more widespread at the European level. Uh, and uh, another interesting species um, on our coast is Acrotilus longipes, a grasshopper that uh, has been recorded at three localities so far, and which inhabits sandy seashores with samophytic vegetation, which are quite rare in Croatia in their natural state. Uh, and uh, therefore, these populations are probably rather fragmented and also highly threatened by tourism development. So uh, we believe that the species is under great threat of extinction in the country. In this last slide, I wanted to show you an example of how um, a page from the Red Book would look like. Uh, this one shows data for Stenobotrus graticus, the only grasshopper species endemic to Croatia. You can see that it would include a photo of the living specimen, Croatian and English name, also taxonomic placement, and then we would list uh, data for um, conservation status at the national level. Also, we would give a distribution, uh, a description, general description of the species, and also a description of its distribution which would be supported by a map showing the distribution of the species in the country. As you can see in this case, the species is known from a single locality on the Alibit Mountain so far. And also we would give some general information about habitat preferences, uh, supported by a photograph of the habitat. And also we would list the main threats to the species, which in this case are, is habitat reduction, mostly uh, due to pasture abandonment and um, consequently vegetation succession. And uh, of course, this is only one of the examples. We, a lot of work still remains to be done uh, in uh, assessing the true conservation status of uh, potentially threatened species in Croatia. And so we, I believe we will have some interesting results in the future. And with that uh, remark, I would like to thank you all for your attention. Let me do okay. Thank you very much. The book will be uh, wonderful, I think. Let us know when it will be printed. Uh, <laughs> no, sure. Uh, it what will take what some is the time, time frame I that you're know. thinking about? Is, will it be within a, a year or, or this year? Or? I think it will take pr probably several years, I believe. Ah, okay. We're not sti still not in that uh, state, I ah. think. That, Maybe for the next Congress, who knows? Ah, okay.
Nice. For for the for for the the one after that, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have time for yeah, one yeah, question. Yeah. Somebody? No? Online? Oh, Luke has a question. Yeah, it's a question from uh, Howon Ri. He, he wonders whether, um, I'm not sure if you know that, but uh, whether Helotalpa steposa requires a specific soil condition. Well, I'm, I'm really not uh, sure that it requires specific soil conditions at least i don't know of any study that looked into that so far uh it would it is an interesting topic to study especially this um requirements uh how, how the how the ecological requirements differ between different glotalpa species is something that should be studied definitely because it might have been a driver of the speciation in the past so um who knows? I mean, for now, they are mostly these speciations, these uh, distinctions between species are mostly geographical. But uh, in, in the places where two species potentially come together, that's why I said that it would be interesting to find the contact zone. Maybe they have some ecological um, differences. They could uh, uh, differentiate in their ecological niches and allow both of them to be present at the same uh, places in the same time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much and uh, see you next Thank time. Thank you. Bye -bye. See you. Bye.